After an explosive start on day two of LIV Golf Las Vegas, Bryson DeChambeau appeared to have a chance to break 60, but he was perplexed by the weirdest 62 of his career. Day two at LIV Golf Las Vegas saw Bryson DeChambeau turn in a spectacular round to tie the lead heading into the final round, but he insisted it was the weirdest 62 of his career. DeChambeau shot three under in his opening round and quickly mounted a challenge for the lead. After making nine birdies in his first 13 holes, he ended with five pars, while Dustin Johnson ended with an 11 after making his own late charge. Even DeChambeau thought at one point that he might break 60 and attempt to match the incredible 58 he shot at Greenbrier last season which was the lowest round in LIV golf history. However, he lost steam toward the end and became perplexed by a few of his near misses. It was the weirdest 62 I've ever had, DeChambeau declared. Well, usually when you're playing well, you'll finish it off and you'll shoot 62, even if you make a bogey on the last hole to shoot 62 or whatnot, but I had five straight holes where they were all gettable and I was at 8 under par, and I was like, I could easily go 59, 58. If I play perfect golf, it's 57. I was even thinking that on 15. I was like counting the holes, and I birdied 15, birdied 16, then I just got a little uncomfortable with the driver. I don't know why. Then just didn't wedge it close enough and didn't go my way on that I lipped out a 30-footer on the last, so it was kind of weird. It was just weird, it was like, oh, it's going to happen. Nope. No, it's not, it was a good chance. DeChambeau will enter the final round tied with Dustin Johnson at the top and with John Rahm, two shots behind on minus nine, also in their marquee group. DeChambeau remarked, they're always great guys to play with. Anytime you get to play head-to-head -head against some of the greatest players in the world, it's a lot of fun. There are numerous birdie holes, so it's going to be an exciting sprint to the finish line. A great deal of fireworks. When asked how he planned to outpace the field, he replied, I need to improve my wedging and drive it a little bit better. If I can do that, I'll be attacking every hole.